In this video, I'm going to show you how to take some data, alter it through app script, and then output the results. So in this case, we're multiplying prices by 5% and we're putting a new price product name. I've done a similar video on variables. If you haven't seen that, please look at it now. The link for it is up above, but let's go onto app script and see what we can do here. So the first thing we're going to do is let the sheet equal spreadsheet app spreadsheet that gets sheet by name. That's just given us the sheet. And how we get a range of data is we let range equals sheet dot get range and then put in the the range from the data that we want to pick up. So essentially what we need to do is we need to put a range of where we're starting and then how many rows and columns we want to go down. So we're starting at 1, 1 in here. So we're picking up the product name all the way through to 11, 5 to exotic imports. So that's 1, 1, 11, 5. And then with that range, we can go and get that data. So I'm going to let the data equals range dot get values. So when we were taking a single variable in the last Video, we said get value. In this case, we're getting values, which will pick up an array of values. And I'll go over arrays in another video in more detail, but we are then logging out this data. So logger.log data. And you can see that is picked up as arrays of data. And this is a multi-dimensional array, which is an array of an array. So we can do logger.log data zero, and that will give us the first array out. And we have the product name, category, price, stock, and supply. So that's the first one out there. If you want to get a value within one of those arrays, you want to go data one one and then one one will come out with from the second array. I'm picking out the second value, which is fruit. Everything starts at zero. So if I want the first value, I want to go data one zero. So that's how we reference stuff that's caught up in those arrays. Now I'm going to show you how to altered data. So we're doing the exact same thing. We're getting that data and then we're going to put in a for loop here. So a for loop will just loop through until a certain condition is met. And our condition here is that I needs to be less than data dot length. So we're going to increment I one each time we run through the loop. So the loop will run until we get to the end of the array. And we're doing this because we're going to use that I to reference what we're going to change. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'm going to do a logger.log data i for each um, iteration of the for loop. And when I run this, you're going to see that it's going to come out with each row of the data set. So each row of the data set as one. And then I can get deeper into this. So I want to get the price here and I want to change the price in e each time. And the price is sitting at the third uh, item in the array. So that's two, zero, one, two. And you're seeing the price come out there. So instead of logging it out, I'm going to alter that price for each run through the loop. So I'm going to say data I2, which is the original price. I'm now going to set that to data I2 multiplied by 1.05, which will multiply that value by 5%. So the idea here is that we can loop through and we can change a whole array of values by just putting that in once in the loop. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to logger.log the result of that um, new price. And the new price now is 1.05 uh, more than it was before. Next thing we're going to do is just change the label on the category. So the category sits or the category sits on I0. We're going to say data where I0 equals new price. And then we're going to add in that original product name in there. So we're going to do new price in quotes, then plus data I0. And then we are going to now set that new data set. So essentially, it's not a new data set. It's just the original data set has been changed. But I want to stick that now into the spreadsheet underneath where my original spreadsheet was. So I'm going to define a new data range. And that's going to be sheet dot range. And and that range is going to start on the 14th row, the first cell, and then we're going to send that 11 rows down and five columns. And then what we're going to do with that data range now we've defined it is data range dot set values instead of get values. That's going to set that. And then I'm going to set that to the data. And then I'm just going to logger dot log that this has gone successfully. So what the log will do is this will only run if the, the first one runs so we don't get an error. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to run this. And now that's telling me that that's successfully run. And I can go out into my range now and I can see that that has successfully run. So just how to get this updated 
on a button, you need to go in and assign a script. I'll show you how to do this from start to finish. You want to go in and insert a drawing and then you draw whatever shape you want. I'm just going to pick a rectangle here. Going to make this rectangle and then I'm going to put text inside it. So just change this to a gray outline. Then I'm just going to put some white text inside here. And this text is going to be called update prices. And then to my update prices, I'm just going to press those three buttons and just assign the name of that function. So this function is called update prices. Just going to copy this and I'm just going to assign it to that button by these three buttons here, assign script and assign the button in there. And I'm going to press OK. And just to show you this works, I'm going to go back in and instead of 1.05, I'm going to change this to 1.5 so we can see the price difference. Going to go in and save this. Now back to my sheet, I can go in and press this button and I see that very quickly the prices are going to change to 1.5 times the original price. So that's working with ranges. In the next video, I'm going to go on to arrays and array functions. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.